Yo! Yo! Doom scroll, you good looking son of a bitch. All right. How old are you now? Like 70? 41. Jesus Christ. You're old as hell. Yep. Conservatives, I got a year to go. Conservatives are now boycotting Kellogg's. Until what? Until I die. 42, I think, is when I go. Why? I don't know. I just always thought 42. When I was a teenager, my uh, friend said that her uncle died of a heart attack at 42. I was like, that's old. So now you feel like you've jinxed yourself? Yeah, I jinxed myself because I realized... You're not going to die in 42. Suddenly just died. Well, I could. You're not going to. Wouldn't be so crazy. It'd be like, ah... It'd be pretty crazy for you to die at 42. Kind of crazy, but not... It's not crazy like... 42 is crazy. Eh, is it? I mean... I think anything under 60 is like, Jesus, what happened? That's horrible. It's a different kind of crazy, though, than a 25 60 to 65 is like, whoa, that's early. And then anything over 65 is just like, well, they weren't getting up there. I feel. I guess teens and twenties are the same level of whoa, crazy. Sixty-five to seventy is like it's still sad, and then anything over seventy is like, yeah, you know, that's what happens. Yep. Right. It gets us all. Anything eventually. forty to fifty is Jesus Christ. Uh, fifty to sixty is still like whoa, what the hell? Sixty to sixty-five is like that's way too young. Sixty-five to seventy is like damn, that's too young, and then anything over seventy is like yeah, that sucks. I'm gonna look it up. We'll see. But first. Got to talk about uh, Kellogg's. Kellogg's being boycotted by mm-hmm. conservatives. Anyway, yeah, they say you're, that you'll live on in infamy because your number will get retired by all football leagues where you roll the ball to the wide receiver. Yeah, okay. It's called a fumble, guys. Scored six touchdowns that day. Well, Way no, more no, than no, fumble. Low. You did it on purpose. No, I dropped the ball. You've never seen a uh, quarterback get a bad snap and drop the ball? You've never well, seen that's, that? You're, you're, that's what happened. You were on the move, and you I rolled it out. I dropped the ball. Yeah, it happened to roll in the right direction, you can't, luckily. You can't do that. But I dropped the ball. Conservatives are boycotting Kellogg's because at the Tony Awards, Dylan Mulvaney, the same trans girl who was uh, part of this Bud Light campaign who got the commemorative can, and she posted about it on her TikTok, and conservatives decided to shoot at cans and throw all their Bud Light away and, and apparently decrease Bud Light sales by 20% to dethrone them, and now... Uh, what is it? What's number one? Uh, Modelo. Modelo is now the number one selling beer in America. Uh, now they're saying it's time for Kellogg's because Dylan Mulvaney was at the Tony. She gets onto the red carpet. Here comes Tony the Tiger, the Tony the Tiger. He runs up behind her, kind of startles her a bit, and then he grabs her. They do some photos together, and then he escorts her along the, it says, here's so now they hate Tony the Tiger carpet. for that because he was nice to someone? Yeah, <laughs> and he took pictures Christ. with her. And, and these uh, people he didn't even drink Bud Light or say he's trans. He was just nice to someone. Hung out. A mascot. Hung like, out I think that's not even real. And I, these people hate cancel culture, right? I know. That's I know. They hate I, cancel culture? I can't totally figure out what, what this was all about other than this photo op and then the two of them walking down the carpet together. I saw that plenty of places. I went to a more conservative-leaning uh, news outlet, or I'd say much more conservative-leaning, and they've got a bunch, you know, they got the pictures and they're talking about uh, the boycott and showing some people's tweets. But then it says here, there's a quote, Tony is thrilled to celebrate all the amazing talent and present them with a new Tony moment after the curtain falls. This is Kellogg's senior director of brand marketing, Laura Newman, told Fansighted. Newman explained that the mascot would present gold bowls featuring frosted flakes. Gold bowls? Bowls, like cereal bowls, filled with frosted flakes. Mulvaney shared on Instagram that the trip to the Tony Awards was in coordination with Meta, which is Facebook, right? Mm -hmm. The influencer was seen sporting a new blonde hairstyle and wearing a black sparkly dress designed by... Wait, are Facebook. conservatives going to ban Facebook? Because Facebook. if they do that, you could go back there again. Yeah, they're going to boycott it. Th- that would are be they amazing. really talking about it? I don't know. They're not. I mean, that they're would talk, be so awesome. On, I feel like they're like, ignoring they can't do it. that part. Of like, course. They can't do that. They can't do that. How else are they going to spend their free time? <laughs> right. Or all their so time, So Meta can do whatever it wants. Right. You think, you, there's oh, no way. If if Zuckerberg started posing with Dylan Mulvaney we and made her face. We should start it and try and get conservatives to catch on. What, uh, you know start what I mean? a boycott? Or yeah, why don't boycott we just tell everyone to make their profile picture a picture of Dylan Mulvaney? Okay. And then see, you know, maybe, uh, I don't think Zuckerberg's going to want them to uh, boycott, though. Because Man, them trying to boycott defi- Facebook would be that's so fun. definitely going to hurt his bottom line. Well, they could start, you know, Truth Book. Truth Book. Truth Book. Yeah. <laughs> Facial, or what's it called? Truth book social. <laughs> Truth book social. I was like, Truth I know there's another facial. word there, and it's Jesus not facial. Christ. Social. So, yeah, they're mad about this. Now, this uh, audio here is from the Washington Examiner, I believe. Conservatives are calling for another boycott, this time against Kellogg's. This comes after Tony the Tiger was seen posing with Dylan Mulvaney at the Tony Awards. 
The Kellogg's Frosted Flakes cereal mascot appeared to surprise Mulvaney. Tony the Tiger then escorted Mulvaney, a biological man who identifies as a woman, along the Tony Awards magenta carpet as they posed for photos together, raising questions across social media about whether a new brand partnership was in the works. Yeah, so I'm still not clear on Snow Cone. I'm going to need you to look this up. Did they give Dylan a golden bowl of Frosted Flakes? Or are they just trying to I confuse want a me in this article? Me too. That would be awesome. I mean... What do we have to do? I eat cereal every single night. I don't eat a ton of Frosted Flakes. I'm sure I eat plenty of Kellogg's cereal. I like Frosted cereal. Flakes. Plenty of Kellogg's cereal. I eat Frosted Mini Wheats. That's Frosted Kellogg's, right? Good. Uh, I eat, uh, I don't know what all those Kellogg's, but I'm sure I eat plenty of Kellogg's stuff. So, you know, what do you need us to do? You need us to make a change in the world? We've already done that. You need us to make the world a better yeah, place to live? True. Still doing it. Been doing it for 20 plus years right. now. So just give us the golden cereal. You're going to need our help now, it sounds like, now that you're in the Conservative crosshairs here. Yeah. So frosted. And we know what that's like. We've been Kellogg's. doing it for years. Yep. We've both people have boycotted this show for anything decades. You yep. Anything you can think of. You know what I always say? I don't care. Yep. <laughs> we had shitty uh, ratings before you left. Yep. We still have them now. Have shitty ratings now. Whoops. Sorry. Yep. I said that. That's twice. okay. Sorry, Snow Cone. It's okay, I got it. It I just came out of my mouth. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know if you can say what I said either. I what didn't did mean to say? say it though. Instead of social. Oh, you can say facial. Yeah, like at the spa. Yeah. I think you can say that. So anyway, does somebody know? Can you tell us on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Church of Lazo, did Kellogg's give Dylan this thing? Are they are conservatives mad ab- about Seems like that makes you mad. You know, Dylan? that just came out of my mouth because it feels like you should be able to say it. Of course it does. I mean, you can say bastard and it's goddamn and right. bitch, but I can't say S. SC rating. It seems like we should be there. Like that now. isn't like that isn't even bad. That's not offending the community as a whole. No, it? there's no everyone way. Everyone says it. Uh, Biden is meeting with experts on AI in San Francisco. We're trying to have it take over his brain. Well, maybe that could be part of it. Like, hey, can you fix this? Ah, uh, but, but I don't honestly know uh, who these people are. I just know that they are somewhat critical. These are not like big AI fanboys. You say I, AI is going to save the world. It's going to be great. We don't need any rules. These are. The skeptics, the people who are warning us about the dangers of AI, some of these people that have left other companies and said, I'm now going to go join these organizations yeah. that are trying to I'm ready educate to people AI. about AI, make sure that we have some rules in AI. place. Snow Cone? Yeah, man. Let's do it. We don't, we're dumb. Yeah. We don't need computers being smarter than us. We don't. Well, like, I get why smart people are like, oh, look, I, it helps me write programming for my computer. Well, whatever, smart guy. Yeah, I don't need I'm that. dumb. I All like it's going to do is take my job. All it's going to do is make me look dumber going to take everybody's job 80 percent of all jobs i read mm. could be lost to ai mm. called current jobs you know so we're all gonna have to learn i guess that would how to be fix good AI. No, if we didn't have to work it'd be awesome if ai could figure out how to keep us all fed and and money, money in our pockets like what's the new system ai you got to figure this out for us that would be great is it like a wally scenario or we're we sitting on little chairs oh, that roll around man. or could you imagine what are we doing they made that figure look like out. it was horrible and i was like they're on like a cruise spaceship it looks awesome <laughs> yeah everything was it being awesome. given to like them. look at how they just eat and swim i'm like yeah, yeah they're I, not working <laughs> yeah. like oh they got fat. could you I'm imagine like, yeah. i'm like this they're all living United like kings and queens States propaganda the only way you can get fulfillment is through work. Right. They've yeah, just been telling harder. us that since we were born. So stupid. Right. I'd like to retire. It's not well, going to happen. It's such a dumb thing that we've just been force fed and now we believe it. If AI could figure it out. You know, I only get fulfillment by going into work and working hard and putting in a good day's work and making other people an ass load of money. Like, you, that's it? That's right. really it? I understand being getting some sort of fulfillment from making there money to support your family, do. but I'd rather just make that art money or whatever you want to do. That's what we don't. We just say we get fulfillment from work, do hard work. Yeah, if people want to do art, they can do that. I'll watch it. I'll read it. I'll look at yeah. it. But I just want to sit. I'll consume it. And AI can figure out how to keep me paid, how to pay my mortgage or keep the banks happy or whatever. I think you just got to get a face social, a facial social. No, it's called uh, face truth book. Truth book facial. Facial. Yes, <laughs> that's the name of my new company. Oh, sorry, I forgot about Biden. San Francisco today, President Biden is meeting with industry leaders and experts to get their thoughts on the opportunities and risks of AI. Hey. While on Capitol Hill, there's a bipartisan bill that's being introduced to establish a commission on artificial intelligence. The question is, oh. is it too little, too late? Too little, too late. Hey, bipartisan commission to talk about mm. AI. So that sounds good. Biden will meet with people who are against AI, and then you'll have a okay, couple like of congressmen or yeah, whatever. I like that. And, They'll uh, yeah, let's talk do it. about AI. 
They're not saying anything about doing anything. They're just going to... Well, I mean, you got to explore it first. Yeah, to talk about it. Yeah, you know. They should ask AI what it thinks. Got to talk to the experts. Got to get all the people in Congress, those young people in Congress, those tech-savvy people Mm -hmm. together to figure out how we're going to tackle this issue. And then, you know, who are we going to listen to? Because there are people who say it's good. Very tech-savvy. Right. Well, that's why I think they probably sent Biden first. Like, hey, you know, the one thing thing San Francisco is missing is you. And we got a lot of smart tech That's people there, but we need Biden there the most to really understand guy. this, right. yeah, and to figure out what this means for the future. And he hasn't had time to maybe read up on AI, right? But because uh, he's busy, you know. But uh, studying tech. Well, we'll cut a little time out here, and you guys can mm. tell him. Just tell him fast, because they'll retain it. Don't worry. I do about like it. the idea of that. Yeah. <laughs> what? The idea Biden of Biden being in charge, making sure it's okay. Uh, him deciding what to do with AI, yeah, and what the future of AI should be. Yeah. Like we're gonna make you got. A week to come up with some rules. Just come up with the rules of what AI should be, or I guess even a year. You can have the rest of your presidency. Figure out what you need to do or what we need to do with AI and what rules we need to make, what laws we need to write so that we'll all be safe. And we'll get the most out of AI while not being hurt by AI. We'll just leave it up to him. No, I think you can do it. Get, yeah. uh, you know, Maybe Diane Feinstein? Sanchez, Rec- Rec- Feinstein? Yeah. Feinstein would be good. Yeah, yeah get Sanchez. Ricard- good. Sanchez Ricardo or whatever her name is. Get her to help. She's I like young. Feinstein. She uses Mitch Twitter. McConnell. He's Mitch very, McConnell. I like that. Savvy. The dream team: Biden, McConnell, and Feinstein the, would be good. The young Texas. Just get people. the three of them together, right. and they can make the rules for the future. And then we might really get to live in that Wally world, right? Yeah, I mm-hmm. believe they just want what's best for us. Trump has now offered a new excuse as to why he did not give back those documents when he was asked. Mm-hmm. You know, originally he said that they were classified. They were. He declassified them, and then later, oh, there might be some audio of you saying that you know that they're classified and you're not supposed to have them. So he was being interviewed by that Fox News guy. I can't think of his name. You'd know him if you saw him. Mm-hmm. You might even know his name. But uh, he's interviewing him, asking, why didn't you give it back? You know, in the indictment, it says that they asked you for this stuff back, and you uh, were, like, texting your, your valet, telling him to move boxes around and stuff. And Trump's like, look, I just had to go through it first. I'm not going to give him all of my stuff. I need some time to go through there and get my personal stuff out of there. You know, pictures of Barron and all those things that I imagine were in those boxes sure. mixed in with those classified documents. Got to get that stuff out first. And then I was going to give it back to him. Because I had uh, boxes. I want to go through the boxes and get all my personal things out. I don't want to hand that over to Nara yet. And I was very busy, as you've sort of seen. Yeah, but I've according very, to the indictment, you then tell this aide to move to other locations after telling your lawyers to say you'd fully complied with the subpoena when you hadn't. But before I send boxes over, I have to take all of my things out. These boxes were interspersed with all sorts of things. Interspersed. Mm. Good word there. <laughs> Good word there. I don't, I'm assuming that his lawyers have said over and over and over again, please don't talk about this. Please don't talk about it publicly. Just yeah. don't address it. Just don't say anything. You can call it a witch hunt. That's fine. But if someone asks you any specifics about the case... Yeah, but tell just, Trump to not talk about something. I know. Oh my God. I know. I don't even know if they bother. I know that his no. lawyers change constantly because they quit. And then well, they one's like testifying against him. The one they told know, to turned hide against him. Yeah. Turned against him yeah. now. So it's... it's And that, we're not talking about Michael Cohen. This is a different no, lawyer. No, this is a new guy. Uh, Cohen turned against him, obviously, most, I suppose, famously. But... Mm-hmm. I talked, or I saw something just within the last week about some of the lawyers that he had specifically for this indictment, and they said that some more of those lawyers were leaving. I don't know, is Tapa Kino still there? What's mm, his name? Taco Penis. Taco Taco Pina. Is he still there? Mm. I, I'm I, sure he is. He was there for the uh, sexual assault yeah. thing yeah, at the yeah. at the mall. Eugene Carroll. Yeah. yeah, at the Trump Tower. Right? Was that mm. the only thing he was doing? He might not have been dealing with any of the classified document stuff. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, that's Trump's new thing. Look, there was stuff in there I needed to go through. Yeah. I'm not just going to hand everything back. And like, well, then why were you moving it around? Well, Because I, mean, I need you know, to go through classified it. Classified documents mixed I thought they with were friendship bracelets. And He's not saying that anymore. It doesn't seem like. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Is it because so he knows that they've got audio of him of saying that he knows they're all classified? Well, I saw today Pictures that he said he didn't baseball have the Iran, right. the Iran uh, attack plans he said he just doesn't didn't ever, never had him i heard him say that too yeah and there's a tape of him saying i look at these iran right, attack okay. plans well except that in the tape doesn't he he doesn't actually does he say iran attack plans i thought no, in the no, indictment no, no, right it just says look at this stuff. this is what he's talking yeah. about so it's it's a little more vague mm-hmm. but if he read those quotes in the indictment and saw that he's on tape somewhere saying you shouldn't be looking at this stuff i shouldn't have this stuff it's mm-hmm. classified mm-hmm. then maybe he changes his tune a little bit like okay I'm, I can't say anymore that I unclassified There's just it, so declassified much evidence. it. Huh? So much evidence. Right. So what's it, what does a guy like Trump say now? He says, I got to go through it. I had to look at it. Right? 
I had to look at that stuff. I got to get my home videos out of there. Right. All that stuff, you know. Making pictures of my daughter. My kid's homework. and <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That stuff's important. I'm not just going to hand that over to the FBI. Not all of that stuff. Not everyone really can think, see a nigga, just me. You really think everything in those boxes was classified? That'd be a lot of classified documents. There are a lot of pictures of those boxes, and there's a lot of boxes. Are we to believe that everything in those boxes was classified? Probably not, right? It's just stuff that he took no, from I'm work. Saying just some of it. Just yeah. some of it's classified. I understand right? why you take it from work, anyways. I know I don't Biden want it. and Obama did it too, and then yeah, I don't want it. They, they somehow they asked him for it. They complied, right? Like just yeah. go get whatever you want. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I understand, but I don't know why you're taking that stuff home anyway. Right. It's like you're cleaning out your office and you just take all the stuff. I'd just be like, shred it. Why do I right. want all or these old keep it documents? The theory is you could sell them to other countries. No, no, no. no why, why, did, why did Biden do it? Why did Obama do it? What are they doing with that stuff? Why are you taking these documents home? We know Clinton did it too, right? Just That's I think the theory for Trump is that... Uh, I know, but why? why the other people? They took it too. Why'd they take it? Why did they, they want to take it home? Too? You're saying Obama's... I, I, don't, know, I don't know other people. I'm just speaking for Trump. Obama I know, but I'm it. saying but everybody Biden does it. Why are, they, why are they allowed to know. take these documents full of stuff out of the office? Why do they want them? Yeah. I'm guessing if you're the CEO or the CFO here and you walk and you got fired or... They brought in somebody else. You wouldn't be like, well, just let me grab all these documents yeah, it does, it's of weird. how we do business. It's weird. A hard drive. That's just not a thing. No. Like, you don't do that. And if, like, if you're like, yeah, I'm going to take some of my personal stuff. You grab your, you got a box. It's got, like, pictures of your kids in it. Everybody's yeah. seen people leave work. Right. The pain when you nobody's used grabbing same. giant boxes of documents, having them delivered to their home from the company they just left. I think Obama said his was for his presidential library. Exactly. Yeah. They say, they say it's for their library. Yeah. Okay. But still, I, like, but I don't. How I, does all that stuff get mixed in there? Right, with that, that, I don't know? even think that should be a thing. Like, if you, the, you shouldn't. I, so ridiculous to me. If you're leaving and you're like, I'm gonna make a presidential library, then I think you've got you, plenty of stuff. And also, you ask the people, right, who are in charge of documents, who are still the president. Like, yeah, hey, here's some stuff yours. that I want for the right, right. And, and they'll say like, okay, yeah, we can send it to you. Or no, we can't. That's classified. You have to wait this many years. Like, yeah, they know who I mean, your last like, day's just, gonna be. Who lets the president walk out? With a dolly full of uh, classified material. It's weird. I That's think a lot of boxes. So people had to move them. Yes. And I'm guessing bizarre. it wasn't Trump, Biden, Obama, or any of them. No, it's people doing it for people them. People doing it for them. They're, say, they're saying, here's your and stuff. And they just let them do it. Right. They should say, here's your stuff after they've said, this is all stuff that's safe to take. Now it can leave. Right. They know when your last day is going to be. Okay, let's make sure. What all do you want? Right. Uh, what do you I want? And then they, you go through some sort of yeah. proper channels. They say, here's what you can take. That's it. It's, right. it's, it doesn't make any sense it's to me. It's so weird, and it's also weird that he wanted them that badly that he's telling people to move them around and everything else, when if he just complied, he'd be in the same position that Obama and Biden were in, or Clinton, whomever, right. because they would have been fine. The lawyers thought he was fine. They said, hey, if we comply with this, fine. Which is fine, and we're complying is yeah. fine, and I get it, right? So I'm not putting them in the same category, but I am saying it seems like there should be a better... Why do we get to that check, place Why are we getting to the point where Obama's got classified stuff at his house? Right. Yeah, like there should be a better. We have a better checkout process at the library. Yep, they know what you got. They know what you're leaving <laughs> right, with. Exactly. And they tell you, if you can't take it, right? Oh, sorry, that's a new book. You only get that for a week, <laughs> right? You'll get that one for a. Feels month. like we should do the same thing with presidential documents. Well, I guess maybe AI can fix that too. I don't know. We have to take a break. Is that what you said, Snowcone? Mm -hmm. A while ago. Take a break, and we'll come back. Finish doom scrolling.